What's up, people? Casey Johnson. This is Optimize Weekly, and we are talking about slastics in the elements. So, slastics are uniquely set up that you can train almost anywhere, and that means that you can train outdoors, which means you're going to involve water, cold, heat, and we've got some quick tips on how to make these last longer and protect them from the elements. So, first thing, extreme cold. Extreme cold. So if you if you get these really cold. Uh, probably below, I don't know, around 34 degrees. Uh, what's going to happen is they're going to get a little more stiff. They're not going to be as stretchy, and you're going to want to bring them back to a normal temperature before use, so you don't run the risk of snapping the band. It's like uh, a, it's like a muscle. You want to warm up the muscle before you end up hitting some intense exercise. Warm these guys up. Next thing is extreme heat. So on the flip side of this. If you leave these out in extreme heat, what's going to happen is because it's rubber inside, you're going to get almost like a looseness or like an extra stretchiness on the band. That's because the rubber inside's heated up, and you're going to want to cool that down a little bit、um, before use, so you don't overstretch and change the stretch properties of that resistance band inside. Last thing is the water. So a lot of people、uh, train outside. It could be raining, it could be snowing, or you could be doing a water boot camp. Uh, all sorts of fun stuff, but these are totally safe to use in the water. The one thing that you do want to use or do is actually dry off this clip、uh, on each end. If you're using slastics, if you're using our toners, you don't need to do this. But for slastics specifically,、uh, you're going to want to dry these off to prevent any rusting. So use those tips when you're out getting your training on in the outdoors, and happy training.